Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about static typing. So we said dynamic typing. We had a variable, and the variable can be anything that you really wanted to, any value that you actually wanted to do. Static typing is not the same. Static typing says the type is stated when declaring the variable, and it cannot change. So what we do, let's just say, when we declare a variable, instead of using var, we're going to use something that actually is more descriptive. And this is going to be int. This is just one example. Int means, stands for integer, which means whole numbers, both negative, positive, and zero, but no decimal points. So int a. Now we're going to go ahead and print this. What's the value? Null, right? Good. When you actually declare the variable, you know that the variable is of type int. So in other words, it's going to be a whole number. It's stated when declaring the variable and not even not when you're initializing it. And it cannot change. So before, remember we said var a and it could be it could be any number or whatever itself. A equals one. That works, right? What if you wanted to change it to A equals hello? There should be a problem. Value of type string cannot be assigned to variable of type int. So you cannot have a string with the type of int A. Okay, so that makes this a little more stricter, doesn't it? So now we have to make sure that, hey, w from the very beginning, I know that this is going to be a variable of an integer and that's all it's going to be so kind of it goes along with the strong and weak typing remember in this context in this particular situation a will always be an integer it will never not be an integer you cannot give it any other value other than an integer okay so we just have to keep that in mind and that's super important Again, why are we doing this? The reason I'm personally going to be using static typing from now on, I'm a big fan of static typing. Why? Two reasons I'm going to say for us. Number one is remember that the Dart pad and the editors in the future that we will use, they help you. The more information you can give them, the more they'll be able to help you. They'll be able to fix bugs like this, or at least identify them. They won't fix them for you, but you can fix them, but they will tell you where the problem is. And things like autocomplete. The more specific you can get with the typing, the better it's going to help you out. So it makes it easier. It makes it a little harder because you have to figure this out sometimes in the beginning. And you might be thinking, why wouldn't you know that a equals 1 and a is an int, right? This is a simple program. Now think of a program where you have to deal with 100 lines of code or a thousand or a million lines. It's really hard. And you, we can see that in the future very shortly, how to sort these things out. It could be very confusing. So you might think now, oh, of course it's an integer. But later on, you might not actually know that. Okay. So that's number one reason. Number two, if we want to use Dart as our first programming language and you want to use other languages in the future, there are some languages that are static typing and are very strict about it. You cannot use any form of dynamic typing at all. And if that's the situation, it's easier to go from static typing to dynamic typing, my opinion only. And again, I don't know anything. All right. Just, but, but in my opinion, it's easier to go from static to dynamic than the other way around. I'm not really sure, but at least we'll, we can get some experience in using static typing, at least for the first reason, okay? The second reason, I think it's probably pretty valid, but I would ask, ask some people who are a little bit more, a lot more experienced than I am to see if that is actually true, that you can use static typing as kind of a, an exercise for other languages when you learn them in the future, if you want to learn them in the future, okay? So where are we? What types of types are there? The, the list of types are the main ones. There are a bunch of different types, but the types that we have mostly are integers, and and the keyword is int. Floating points. 
What's a floating point? A floating point is a decimal. So instead of 1, 1 point 0. But that's not allowed 2 because it's different, right? Value of double cannot be assigned to int. You cannot assign this to this. Okay, you can only assign or equal it to an integer, a whole number. Okay, even though 1.0 is the same thing, we know 1.0 is the same thing as 1, the computer doesn't see it that way. That's called a double. So you could say double A equals 1.0. Four, and this error will go away. See, that'll be completely valid then, okay, because it's double. If you don't know if it's an integer or a floating point, you can use the word num. Try to get it right the first time, integer or double, but sometimes you just don't know. Why wouldn't you know? Let's just say I have int a and int b a equals 44 b equals 10 and you want to add int c equals a plus b that's correct right a a plus b so what's c c is going to be 54 right now, what happens if all of a sudden, oh, now I, let's let's change this around. I want this to be divide. Now we have a problem, right? Because 44 divided by 10 equals a double. So if you change this to double, because that's a decimal. The result is a decimal, right? It is 4.4. So if you don't know what you're going to do, and sometimes in the future, I'm not exactly sure. I might be dividing. I'm not sure about that, depending on what I do. I might just use num instead when you just don't really know okay so this way it'll work this way it'll work right because if you used int here I mean double here that would not work either it'll give you an error it'll actually work don't get me wrong it'll actually work but at the same time it'll give you a warning that hey you're actually violating some rules and by the way this idea where you can use both not all programming languages have this. Actually, I don't think very many languages having this have this at all. It's called optional typing. Now, if you remember in the very beginning, I said Dart is a, I don't know what I said, but, but it is optional typed. Optional typing means you can use both static typing or very dynamic typing. It's your choice. Me personally, I'm going to be using static typing. If you want to use variable typing because you're more comfortable with it, you like it better, you like the idea better, that's okay too. But the Dart pad's probably not going to give you as much help as you would if you used static typing. All right, so num, number, what else is there? Words or text. That's use the keyword string, pa, um, capital S. So if you're going to say string A, a equals, it needs to be text, so it's quotation marks, hello, that'll work as well, okay, so string A, S with a capital, again, try using int here, it's going to give you a warning, right there. There is something called a bool. Actually, it's um, true or false. It's called a bool. Bool A equals no quotation marks, true or false. It could be true or false. So bool is a variable. It's a special variable. That just means it's not text. It's not a number. It's basically true or false. That's it. That's all the options you actually have. That's a completely not not completely true though, because what if you do okay, comment this out, bool A, what's that gonna be? Null, right? Because we haven't initialized it. So it's only true or false unless you refused 
to initialize it or you just forgot to, then it'll always be null like everything else. All right. So those are the major ones. We'll go over more types in the future. But just remember for static typing, determined whenever you're declaring the variable and you cannot change it. So it's not like dynamic where the A can equal one um, an integer at one time and then a string at another time. And remember these terms right here because I'm going to be using those more instead of floating point integer. I'll just say int, double, num, string, and bool instead. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Static typing. Couple more things. Sorry, I just did forget about them. So there are there's going to be some code you'll probably look at that has something called a final, let's say int a equals one, or const b equals two, and that will be an int b equals two. Print a is equal one. And I'm going to show you one more thing last. So final int a, when you use the word final, that means a is equal to this particular value here. And it will always be this value, and you cannot change that value. All right? So a equals 1. You try to change it to a equals 3, and you will get an error. Not only that, it won't even run. It'll give you a problem. So final means a is equal to this value. That's all you got. Const means the b, the variable, and the relationship to 2 is set and cannot be changed. This is the value cannot be changed. This const means the relationship cannot be changed. What do I mean by that? Let me give an example. Let's just say A is sort of like if you say that is the date. Um, January 1st, 2010, or something like that. So integer A equals January 1st, 2010. So it doesn't mean if today is January 1st, 2010, or tomorrow is January 1st, or whatever, if we're in the past, the future, the present, whatever, this A will always equal January 1st, 2010. As opposed to B, let's just say const B equals today. So today, the date will change. The day of the week will change. But that relationship, what B equals that thing, that relationship, will never change, right? So B equals today, which the value of today may change, but the relationship to the B does not change in and of itself. Okay, so it's kind of like a marriage, right? When you marry somebody, the relationship may be the same, but the person, just like you, changes with time. It's not final because if you're final, then the relationship doesn't grow or change anywhere, right? which may be good or bad. I don't know what your circumstances are, but just, just keep that in mind. So const, the relationship is set. Int, I mean, final, the, the value is actually set. Lastly, I'm going to show you something called string interpolation. So when we did print and we had quotation marks, right, we could put something like hello, correct? What we could also do is by putting a dollar sign inside of here, A, it basically says the dollar sign A, the thing, the variable that follows, that will actually be the value substituted inside of here. So let's see what that says. That's the one, right? So if you say, I have the number what you're going to do is you're going to print out the text, right? The string, I have the number, and then you're going to insert, because of the dollar sign, immediately the variable that follows, the value of the number 1. And that's what that is going to be. That's what we call string interpolation right inside here. And you can use this several different ways. You can use that and dollar sign $b. So you can put 1 and 2. You can do it that way. So it's nice and easy to put it inside of there. What if you wanted to do like A plus B, right? How would you do that? 
you can't do it really easily. But but I wanted to say the sum is A and B. That doesn't actually really work. What you would actually do is curly brackets. So curly brackets A plus B. So the curly bracket says dollar sign the thing that's in the curly brackets, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that inside there, and then I'm going to paste it in the text. So curly brackets, A plus B, it would add these two together, right? And then put it inside of there. So I hope that was clear. Type the string, type the variable value inside of there, and then end it itself. Or you can say, Hi there. And it'll just keep on because the variable is only going to be in this section followed by a period. And that's what we see. Okay? We will be using this a lot in the future just to get more than one value inside of here. There are a number of ways to do it, but I like this the way the best. I think most people actually do it as well. Okay? So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very much.